The federal government has urged the striking members of the National Association of Resident Doctors to suspend their ongoing nationwide strike. The permanent secretary of the Ministry of Labor and Employment, Katolom Dajos, made this appeal while addressing a group of journalists in Abuja, stating that the actions of the striking doctors have led to the loss of lives among Nigerians. She also mentioned that the new administration is actively working to address their main objectives. On the immediate payment of 2023, Medical Residency Training Fund, we appeal to them that they should kindly await when ministers are in place because permanent secretaries have a threshold and what the government is expected to pay is far and above the threshold of the permanent secretary. And very soon we are sure that ministers are going to be in place and we told them that please just tarry a while. Government is not resting on its oars. We understand the plight of where you're coming from. You're resident doctors. Yes, you want to go on training. And we've actually pleaded with them. I use the word pleaded, yes. We've pleaded with them to please call off their strike. And uh, to be honest, the Federal Ministry of Health, their parent ministry actually wrote to the president, to the president, to be precise, on the issues in the health sector, for him to intervene, and they were equally informed about this. They equally talked about the one-on-one -on -one placement of exited doctors, and the office of the head of the civil service is attending to that. A committee was set up for that. And they were equally informed that a committee has been constituted and the Federal Ministry of Labor is equally a member of the committee alongside the Federal Ministry of Health and other relevant government agencies. But we need to de determine and establish who exactly are exited doctors because we are all guided as civil servants by the public service rules. There's a difference between exit from an office, there's study leave, there's leave of absence, there are different kinds of, of leave. So we need to be sure. And of course, for you to demand for the federal government that you want one-on-one -on -one replacement immediately, you know how these things are run. We are all in the federal system. And we have pleaded again that just give us a little more time. The committee will wrap up. When the recommendations are made, we will bring them forth and you will know what it's all about. But to no avail. So we are using this medium to kindly appeal to the National Association of Resident Doctors that please, Nigerians are dying in droves. That's the truth. The health sector is a very, very important sector. Not that any other sector is not important. They're all important. But we all know what medical doctors are to us. If we are ill today and you can't go to a hospital, what happens? People are dying. People cannot care for themselves. So I'm begging them and I'm imploring and I'm lending my voice to the voice of all members of government who have appealed to them to please call off their strike and go back to work. I know that your parent ministry alongside other government agencies are working hand in glove to ensure that this matter is sorted out. So may I appeal once again, and I'm speaking to the National Association of Resident Doctors, to please call off the strike and go back to work.